It's not often that Bedford is graced with such an event, but today one such friend has chosen to come to the tumble town of Bedford. Yes, the Radio One Roadshow, complete with the ultimate experience in a few bands, some not others. Follow me. We'll take. A, oh, yes, um, so, would you say, uh, do you disobey your own decision? Oh yeah, all the time. All the time you disobey your own decisions. Yeah, and uh, what's this all about? And what's this all about? This is this is effort TV. And uh, what else can we ask? So, uh, what what are you looking forward to today? To unlimited. <laughs> Not really. Not really. No, anything. Anything. That anything. Happens. That's the thing. You have to get involved. In We're looking forward to seeing some fit men. <laughs> okay. Well, that 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 applies from the male side as well, you know. So. <laughs> right. So we'll take a stroll round, I think, and see. Oh, Scott, Scott, anything to say on the effort today? Nah. Do you disobey your own decisions? Nah. You never ever disobey your own decisions? Nah. And are you proud to be here today? Yeah. And uh, what about, what about, um, is your life a house? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right, let's walk, walk, walk round. It looks like the BBC are here. Bollocks to the BBC, we're much better than that. They're urging people not to take their clothes off. It's quite sensible, really. Looks like we've come to a dead sort of stop here with uh, various people securitying and that. Uh, all right, we'll cut for now. Okay, Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, uh... Would you say that um, toilets in Bedford have generally gone up, down, left and round? Interesting question. Um, difficult to comment on, actually. Um, but the vandal-proof toilets are exceedingly not vandal-proof. Yeah, and what do you think to Noel Crombie? Who? OK, we'll cut now. Thank you. <laughs> you got anything to say, lads? Yeah, certainly. Yeah. All right, now actually keep rolling. Would you like to say anything you want? Well, uh, ask a question. Okay. I'm going to ask. What do you think is a crowded house there? Do you like that? Uh, well, in small doses. In small doses. Now, that's the thing. You've got to have things in small doses. Okay. We'll cut. Them. <laughs> Effort TV. <laughs> right. Cut it. The, uh, the professionals, it seems, uh, the current crop of uh, music in the 90s. Generally, uh, are you waiting here to get autographs, girls? Yeah? <laughs> Who, whose autograph are you hoping to obtain? Anybody's. Anybody. Are you, are you just doing it for the sake of it? Just for someone famous, basically. No, it's just like doing it. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, you've got to. Yeah. Words apart should be here. And then we've got a two unlimited, a nice little pop duo, well, techno duo, however they like to be. Uh, Named as really, standing there in Bedford, looking over there, looking quite groovy. I'm sorry, mate. Well, the boys in blue keeping it all under control in a rather roundabout two noun how way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've got a scoop for you, Ken Livingston MP, Labour really? Party, over there with Ian Nichols. Quick, come on, come on. <laughs> OK, on. nothing like a bit of politics. Oh, go on, Ken Effort TV comes uh, this way. We're having a great time. We still got my ice cream, yes I have indeed. Alright, we'll cut for a bit now because we want to take a troll into the centre. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so today we're interviewing the Sharnbrook boys. Now, no, what? No. I'm from Queen's Park. You're from Queen's Park. I'm from Sharnbrook. You're from Sharnbrook. Oakley. 
from Oakley. Uh, any of you heard of Blanham? What do you think of Blanham? Blanham, uh, Blanham's out the way. That's miles away. What about Bledsoe? Bledsoe. Never heard of it. You never heard of Bledsoe? Never heard of it. <laughs> no, no. OK, then. Casey, you've got to go to the rest. You can't keep talking. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do you disobey your own decisions? Own decisions? No, nah, our decisions are the best decisions. <laughs> our decisions are right. Just drink Red Stripe. Let's yeah. go. Come on. And, okay. and, and the special Red brew. Maker. OK, and the special brew. All right, we'll uh, roll so we can take into the centre. Skin up. We'll, ro we'll cut so we can stroll into the centre. All right there, Steph, what do you think to Wednesdays? It's all right. What do you normally do on a Wednesday? Go to school. Go to school. Oh, school. That's a, that's a, that's a certain word. And uh, do you feel they've laid on a good show here today? It's all right. <laughs> You've only been here half an hour. Now, half an hour is a very uh, long time. And have you heard of the half hour pond? No. <laughs> Which goes beyond and yond. Huh? Which goes beyond and yond. And uh, can you contain everything? Yeah. yeah. You can contain everything. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> right, OK then. Thanks a lot then for your time. We'll move on. Effort TV. Yeah, still film. Right, well, uh, lots of people here today and lots of uh, interesting bits and bobs going down. You never know, we might get arrested. Watch out for possible scenes. Yeah. Oh, that's not in the movie. Not really, no. No, 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 right. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another edition of Sound Quality. Today, presented by myself, Mr. Matthew Roberts, and I'm Mr. Palmy Sermon. When you uh, look for sound quality, what areas do you look for? Good sound. Good sound. What do you think of the PA set up today here? It's a bit dodgy, actually. It's a bit dodgy. Uh, well, right, I guess, assuming we'd say it's got too much mid range. Exactly. The speakers are too high up. They're too high up. This truck. There's no base, not enough base. They need to be closer to the ground. Yes, is that? Can we get some of that on a. Uh, it is a. Uh, oh, we'll get lots of. Uh, lots of DJ type groups. And uh, what about the Pioneer tape deck, the one we both used to have? A bit dodgy. A bit dodgy, yeah. Would you agree there, Mark? Okay, right, we'll uh, go and look for some more scenes. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, Danny here, and uh, what music has really got to you over the last 20 years or so? Got to me? What, yeah. in a bad way or a good way? In it's whichever way you want, which is sort of pulled either Heartstrings or... Um, Heartstrings, Depeche Mode, yeah. Human League, um, Yazoo. Bit of an 80s boy, I have to oh. shake your hand here. Do you, do, you do you remember a band called Split Ends? Split, I don't, I'm You sorry. don't? Uh, no, 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 we were just asking, they're an 80s uh, lot, so... Uh, <laughs> So, uh, what do you think to the music scene these days? Is it uh, um, up or down? It's or? going downhill, but yeah. we're bringing it back up. You're bringing it back up, well, yeah? We're taking it back to the 80s, so hopefully we'll bring it back uh, up. Do you find writing songs easy or? No, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not an easy task, man. Yeah, because I've actually been a musician myself and writing songs. I know it, it is very... It's hard to get an inspiration for a song. So. Do you, uh, have you ever tried the rolling the tape and seeing what comes out one? Um, no, I just normally sit down, pen and paper, and just see what happens. Yeah. And see what happens, see what comes out, so. Yeah. What sort of things are your songs about? Um, sort of 90s topics like HIV, um, obsession. Yeah. All those sort of things. Depression. Sort of the things I mean, to do with the human no. life. And yeah, and general yeah. day things, you know. People, okay, then. Things right. people forget about. Okay, then. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Danny. Have a good show today. Thank you, man. Okay, that's Effort TV. Okay. There's some more interviews. So, uh, what do you guys think to Danny? <laughs> He's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> you like Danny. Okay, then. Hello. Oh, well, this is a bit of a deja vu. Do you like Danny as well? <laughs> yeah. You do like Danny. And what's all this we have? It's fine. We've got this, uh, this we'll is two uh, Laura with love from, I don't know his name. Danny's quite fit, actually. Danny, Danny. yeah, Danny. Danny's Danny. the best dad. We've just interviewed Danny, okay, all right. So, Effort TV, Wilt Tilt, Way Be Baby, okay. Bye. Anyone else want to be on Effort TV? Okay. Anything to say about the security around here? No? Okay, then. All right, we'll cut off now, then, Mark. 
Hi there. Do you often find yourself disobeying your own decisions? Yes, I do. Yeah, you can never stick to what you really said at the start. Yeah. And what do you think to that chap Danny over there who we've just uh, interviewed from that band, whatever it is? Wait, which band was that? I don't know, Mark. That's what I've... Which I, band was it? Yeah. Because I'm really trying to find out, you know. You know, because you don't actually know who you've interviewed. See, I met Nick Seymour from Crowded House last night. So, really? So I thought oh I'll just... God. And Mark Hart that's as well. So lucky. You know, you know, but that's... that's if they were here today, maybe I'd be on my knees, but... Yeah, exactly, you know. but you're not, because it's only me. No, oh. well, no, 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 we, everything counts, really. Everything counts yeah, in the 90s. even me, even me. Yeah. Matt Roberts. Yeah, am I Matt Roberts? Yeah, Who I am. Oh, <laughs> my cover's blown completely. I know your sister. You know my sister? Oh, that's good. <laughs> She'll be very famous one day. Well, Helen Perry. Mm. Mm. Sorry, she's one of my best friends. Okay, then, FTV, I've been Matt. Who are you? I'm Poppy. Poppy and Emma. Emma, okay, that's Poppy and Emma there for FF TV. We'll stroll back round and leave the famous bands type section. Hi, FF TV. FF TV. yeah, okay. All uh, right, look, look, this man here, this man here. Are we going to go up right, this mate. way? Uh, well, so what do you think of the uh, current crop of music in that? Uh, it's very good, but I especially like this band that's got me and you in. What are they called again? Oh, I don't know. That's that, that's that band that have been oh. famous, haven't they? They've had very uh, big... I, s I looked into the future. 1998, number one. Who is uh, it? Me and you. This is me and you, yeah. That was right. a, that's a bit strange. We seem to have... Uh, got the kick like yesterday? Oh, well, 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 I did have a... Uh, we had the unfortunate, the uh, well, the pleasure of actually meeting Nick Seymour and Mark Hart and getting their autographs. But we never quite got to meet Neil, did we? Did got we? Away. Sorry. We got well, he got a wave and. Uh, Anything to sign on TV? No. No. Okay then. We'll move back round now on Effort TV. But you know, they were lovely chaps yesterday. Okay, cut it there, Mark. Excuse me, there, Sir Andy Bell. Do you sell your kids for food? No. You don't at all. And does the legacy live on? Yeah. yeah. Does it live on? And what's this T-shirt you're wearing today? Guns and Roses. A Guns and Roses T-shirt. A rather stylish Guns and Roses T-shirt. Okay, thank you lots, Andy Bell. He shares a name with someone very famous. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> We're coming back down here. Effort TV. Wilson and Silson. Oh, Chris, Chris, Chris. Here's a, here's a long... <laughs> a long time mate, Chris. Now, I used to play across the border with this guy when I was nine. You used to play what? Across the border. Do you remember that? You know, in the mi middle of Newnham uh, Playground? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And I remember you giving me the bumps on my 10th birthday, you see. That's some very special <laughs> memories. We're doing Effort TV. We're just getting people on camera here. And that famous, non-famous, could be famous, future famous people. Oh, right, right. And do you often find yourself disobeying your own decisions? Yeah, okay. definitely. Well, that's the question of the day, and uh, everybody's like that today. Okay, then. Have you got a light? Have I got a light? No, I haven't, no. Hello. Hi <laughs> right there. Hi right there, mate. Uh, what, what band are you looking forward to, to seeing today? Tilted. That's who you've come to see, yeah? Uh, oh, we've just been round the back, actually, and they're, they're looking forward to it in a, quite a big way. So, uh, so how, what do you think to these road shows, then, are they? Great. Is it a good idea, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. So thanks a lot for your time. The One FM type. It's the One FM News. This is Tom Sexton. The fact that died from a heart attack on White Walkers in Cambridgeshire. Thank you. Oh. Oh. That's uh. Someone cheering there. Okay, uh, let's uh, gently cut it again then, Mark. He's rolling now. Uh, we're live here at the Radio One Road Show. Two Unlimited about to take the stage, and the scream in the audience is electric. Listen to that, man. Scenes unseen since. Here they come. No limits to this lot. The word she is nice brings to mind. We're rolling again. We just actually found out they're actually miming. Nice mid-drift there, one by Anita. What'd you say, Mark? You what? Nice mid-drift there. Oh, yeah.
too much. We've got Ray there, standing there, doing the usual star type grooves. The usual teenage girl following. The TV here brings you a Radio 1 road show. A dashing haircut there. Very nice. There it is. A nice array of keyboards and drum machines there too. of hands waving. Should we get any interviews here? Come, let's go. Well, I think we're going to have to churn out some questions. What do you think of today and what they've laid on here? It's too hot and I can't see anything. <laughs> Mad, it's wicked. Yeah, it's Is this, what, what's this for? Effort TV. Huh? Effort TV. TV. Could well do if it passes the audition. This is a brilliant day, yeah? I think everyone should come down here. Yeah. It's really good. Can I do it? Is it go, might be going on TV? Well, we'll cut all the good, we'll cut all the bits we need. We won't cut, you know, put it this way, the only good bits will go on. Can I make a dedication in case it goes on TV? Go on then. Okay, I'd like to say hello, right, to Raoul French, yeah, and Hassel, yeah, and Earl, and everybody out there from... Okay, the Patno crew, the Patno posse, Asa Data team, come on. Anything to say about the security now? Right. Hi there, Lorraine, Lorraine here. Hello. Well, what do you think of today? I don't know. I'm do you often disobey your own decisions? No. Anything to say? Hello. <laughs> what are you up to? Foxy boy. Effort TV. Will Tilt, baby. Oh, we'll bring the camera through here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Friends of the end. <laughs> right, what do you think of it today here, lads? It's all right, it's all right. It's not a bad scene. Not what about the uh, overall feeling? Is it an electric atmosphere? I would say electric, but... Well, we're getting a bit of abuse there from behind. we better stroll on before we really upset someone. Oh, John Airy. Uh, do you uh, make lots of people smile with your overall charm and charisma? Rarely. 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 You're not. You're not one of those people who uh, generally gets to everybody's heart. No. No. We'll remember John Airy forever. Your name will never die in my heart. Okay. Let's go. Oh dear. Could get hit here. There seems to be no, no end of uh, uh, Radio 1 merchandise accumulating. Another edition of uh, <laughs> an hour later. <laughs> and here we are. Later. We're here with who? May. Oh, Matthew. I'm a Matt too. You're a Matt. I'm a yeah. Jason. You're a Jason. 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 Matt. He's a Mark. I'm a Stefan. You're Stefan. So, uh, what, what, what do you want to say? Do you got any feelings you want to broadcast? Another... What feelings? Feelings. Right. Humming feelings. An hour later, Roya. Right? <laughs> an hour, an hour later. later, right? 
fucked out of our heads, isn't it? <laughs> no, shh. Nah, we have to Straight. spin completely out of it and we'll still keep going. See that woman there in a the black top? She's looking Look, get nice. a picture of her. Yeah. yeah. She's looking well. nice. Okay, we've got some seeds there. Them legs, man. You know what I mean? All right, then, we'll, uh, we'll head back. Yeah, nice legs. That's where we're, we're, we're. she wants me. Check her. Check her. What a huge reaction. The two unlimited. Thank you. A huge reaction indeed. Getting some seeds. Oh, dear. We're getting people on the way out now. What do you think of the current crop of music in uh, uh, the world? I think it's brilliant, yeah. You think it's good, yeah? I, li I listen to rave. You listen to the rave. Who are your favourite uh, acts? Who are my favourite what? Artists, acts, anything, DJs. DJ, I like DJ Dougal. Right, it, she likes DJ Dougal. Bad. OK, then, thanks a lot. Okay, ready? What's this, for college or something? Uh, something like that. OK, we're SZ Effort here, Effort TV with PC. So, Inspector, even. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry for hierarchy. In you start again. In <laughs> this is Inspector. John C. Marks. Right. And uh, what, what do you what do you think to uh, what do you think to uh, events like this coming to Bedford? Do you think it's a good thing for a uh, public? I think it's really good for everybody. Yeah. It gives everybody something to do, and it brought Bedford on the map. Yeah. And over your career, have you ha have you uh, been present at a lot of events like this? We've had events like this at Woburn Abbey, yeah. uh, Tina Turner concert, things like that. So I don't think the uh, road show's ever been to Bedford before, has it? No, not to my knowledge. No. Okay, then. All right, and thanks for your time there. I was Matt. Thanks a lot. Okay. On TV, if the, uh, the tape that we edit down passes the audition. What do you want to ask us, then? Uh, what do you want to be asked about? Do you want to be asked about today? Well, we'll just ask you some uh, nonsense questions, then, and you just play the part. <laughs> Can't do that. Well, we can. We just cut. Are you waiting for the day? Yeah. Am I waiting for the day? I certainly am. The waiting. day that a that a girl. Well, have you got a girlfriend at all, or are you married? I've got a few girlfriends at the moment. Um, none of which really uh, I care for. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't really care. Are you waiting for that someone special to walk into your life? I certainly am. Yes. Yes. If that's possible, that is. You know. And what sort of uh, girl are you looking for? Uh, really, I'm looking for somebody that's. Uh, for, no. Lots of money. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful figure. Um, Good and bed. basically a dirty bitch in bed. She has to be she has to be like as if she just come out of the jungle, sort of animalistic sort of qualities, you know. One that'll get you and turn you and be rough with you. It really abuse me badly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, what can we say? A man after my own heart. Oh, yeah. uh, plenty of violence. Yeah. Have you seen anything here today that takes you for Yeah, a girl called Raquel actually. She's yeah. a she's a half caste girl and she's sitting over there somebody with a little son. She is the sort of woman that uh, appeals to me, basically. Yeah. yeah. And uh, have you made any moves on Raquel? Uh, we're just sort of like friends at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck with the uh, quest for Raquel, because I know a lot yeah. of people with quests. They just, just snort a bit of coke together. Yeah, you know? a bit of coke and a bit of weed. Yeah. yeah. And uh, have a good time, you know. Hello, Mrs. Shepherd. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Shepherd. Right. We'll edit all the good bits out of this interview, on. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Cheers, then, guys. See ya. Okay. That was a. <laughs> is there still a very pretty girl you know? No, 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 no. Yeah. I didn't have nothing to do with me, that song. Nothing to do with you, that song. What was your input into Tree when you were in them? Um, I don't know. What was my input? Fucking like aggravation as far as everyone else was concerned, yeah. I think. And you were parted on good terms? Uh, well, it was everyone got fed up a little bit, I think, with um, a certain guitarist. And, uh, oh, uh, uh, duh, Peter, Peter. Who's Peter's mate? That's the certain guitarist. Peter's mate. Yeah, Peter's mate. No, no, not that Peter. You say Peter and. Oh yeah, yeah. There, yeah, that's who we're talking about. Okay then. All right then. Thanks a lot, old lead singer from Tree. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, he was my idol. Was he your idol? <laughs> yeah. And why was he your idol? Because he was just the best musician ever alive. <laughs> and uh, favourite tracks? Uh, ooh, sm smells like Teen Spirit and Milk It. Yeah. What about songs like Love Buzz and About a Girl? Did you like those? Yeah. I kept seeing them all round school when I got bleach first. Yeah. Has there anybody ever seen them here? No. Not no. no. I, I was going to buy tickets, but my parents didn't let me. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Maybe you'll see him in another world sometime. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for the time. Go on, up June Don't worry about that yet. Uh, what do you think to today? Um, bloody hot. Bloody hot. Uh, what do you think to...
bloody hot day. Um, they're sunburn-tastic, mate. Would you say the finger of flame has turned upon itself? Pardon? The finger of flame has turned upon itself. Um, <laughs> say it again. <laughs> the finger of flame has turned upon itself. Definitely. Oh, most definitely. It has. Well, yeah, OK. Thanks a lot for your time. For um, the first division championship. <laughs> okay, right, thanks a lot. What do you think to Opus 3? She's got cool hair. Yeah. And uh, she's just dedicated this one to girls. What do you think to that idea? It's good. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for your time. Okay. Yeah, ask some questions. Not this little Blackburn fan. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, ask some questions. No, 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 serious, lad. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Are you pissed? Am I pissed? Uh, well, I'm pissed on my own. I'm my mate, Matty, man. My own. Excuse me, are you, is the cameraman drunk? Yes, totally. Rated. Matthew, are you stoned? I'm tickle, I'm tickle, I'm tickle, I'm. Mana, 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 and Pali, and Pali, and Tikalai, and Tikalai, and Tikalai, and Is the cameraman enjoying it? Yeah. What so about Dave's Do you think, think Anita's yeah. fit? Two yeah. Unlimited has got the biggest go fucking tits. <laughs> she, she has, she has. Close -ups, close -ups, yeah. Yeah. We've got lots of close-ups. Okay, now, has any... Close-up, close-up. What? Has anybody got anything really, really way out to say? A real big statement. Sen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got a big statement. I'm in this long, dark tunnel with a very <laughs> bright light at the tunnel end of it. We are the bada 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 bad boys. One more, one more. You ready? A long dark tunnel. Very so natural. That is very natural. It's only natural. Remember that for the human race. It's only natural. Respect to the DJ. Respect to the DJ. It's only natural. Of interesting people on the thing today, yeah. and uh, oh look, there's there we find Robert up ticket and Cy. Rob, <laughs> hi, who's your mate? Hello. Do you want to be on TV? No, thanks. You don't want to be interviewed. <laughs> Can we? Uh, uh, are you waiting for the day? Um, yeah. Are you waiting for the day? Would you? Are you waiting for the day that everybody comes back to you? Um, yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. the crowd remind you of Beatlemania at all? Ah, oh God, are you not insinuating that I'm old? <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not insinuating anything of the sort. <laughs> the human race is very old, young <laughs> rather. <laughs> no, would you say it does though? A bit. But would John have been proud of the pop scene if he was around today? Oh yes, definitely. He would have been yeah. proud. I think he, we would have done him proud. Thank you for your time there. I, yeah, I've been I, Matt, this has been Effort TV. We're getting shadowed here. Right, cut for now. Okay, we're live here with uh not on telly. No, we're live here with No, I'm not say. <laughs> supposed to say your name. Peter. Peter. And uh, what do you feel what do you feel about today's uh, conservative parties? They're shit, man. They're shit. What do you think of politics? They're shit. Is it is it a load of old rubbish, yeah? Uh, if if would you run the country yourself? Yeah, uh, do you know anybody who could run the country? You could run the country. And how would you uh, allocate uh, the public's money? One, I'll give money to build houses so that people can move in, yeah? Yeah, so there'd be no more poverty, no no nothing. You'd be a good Prime Minister. Il well, eliminating poverty is a near impossibility, but lessening poverty would be one thing. Okay, uh, what's your name, sir? My name's John. Okay, John. So, John, John what? Elliot. John Elliot, we could be talking to a future Prime Minister there. John Elliot, live here, 94. Someone else has just taken the stage. It's time to get back up the scene and see what's going on. Uh, someone's coming through. Sorry to obstruct your way there. You having a good day? Yeah, cheers. Having a good day. Do you know who's on stage? No. Has anyone, you got a clue there? It's the grid, I think. It's the grid. That's that Dave Bull. Mr. Hassel the one there. Charges yeah, the one there. Yeah, the one there. 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 The
thousands of punters have been he through the gates at Epsom for the There he is, David Harvey. Ball. Excellent. That is the biggest Harvey star here today. The Piggott stands a good chance of winning on Camasan. Now more on our top David story Ball. that Gordon Brown has opted out of the Labour leadership battle. Hey, shout Dave Ball! Dave! <laughs> they can't hear us from there. There's Louise and Gemma. Oh, what a man! Hey, I think it's David right. Ball on stage there. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, from soft, from soft cell. David Ball from soft cell. David Ball from soft cell. Amanda Coles. Amanda Coles. That name is right up. Yeah, I'm okay to say. Okay then. What are you doing with all this? Effort TV. I know you're going to love this stunning performance. You're here or just listening live on stage. It's the grid. Hello, how are you? This is the original trance song. Dave! Is that? Yeah, I know, Dave Paul. With our round one shot. Live here, David Bull on... Have you heard of David Bull? No. From the grid. He was a member of Soft Cell. Do you remember Soft Cell? No. Does anybody remember Soft Cell? No. No? <laughs> and they had a hit with Tainted Love. Someone must remember Soft Cell from the 80s, no? Oh, thanks for your time anyway. Yeah? Do you see that bloke there on the keyboards? That's Dave Bull, the other half of Soft Cell. Is it? Yeah. That is the one. That is Dave Ball, the other half of Soft Cell from the 1980s with Mark Ullman. Lovely. There you are. I bet you didn't know that. No, I didn't. We tell someone something every day. <laughs> Do you know who the guy on keyboards is, the far side, the old looking man? Sam Pratt. It's uh, David Ball from the highly successful duo in the 80s Soft Cell with Mark Ullman. No, oh, lucky him. Yeah, that's who he is. Oh, no, that's We need an interview. Pardon? Do you remember Dave Ball? Dave who? The guy on the stage on the keyboards, the yeah. old looking man. Yeah. He, he was uh, from the uh, highly successful duo of the uh, 1980s Soft Cell. Do you remember them? No. They had Tainted Love. You must know Tainted oh, Love. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. the guy responsible for the famous... Oh, oh. no, it isn't, actually. What am I saying? He's the guy responsible for a few famous riffs, though. Right, OK. There we are. We're all, all in awe today. Yeah. And are you waiting for the day that the world comes back to you? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, here we are. Hello. Effort. Hello. Uh, Hello. Do you know that's Dave Ball from Soft Cell? I was just saying, which, one, was which one's... The we, the the old, we're going to go and have a look, sorry. That's David Ball from Soft... Well, he was in Soft Cell. Because you said his name was David Ball, Rob thought he was bald. Oh. <laughs> Dave Ball, that's what I meant. Anybody waiting here for an interview with Dave Ball? No. No? Oh, hello. Do you want to be on? On what? Yeah. What, is it? what do you think of the grid? They're all right. They're wicked. They're all right. Yeah, you like they're the grid? Right. Like, they're all right, I suppose. Like two thirds. Two thirds are brilliant, especially Danny. Yeah, oh, yeah I think they're brilliant. Yeah, I've been kissed by them. Name? Yeah, my name's Kirsty. Okay, this is Kirsty. <laughs> uh, what are your musical influences? Um, bird song. Yeah. Uh, what else do I like? I don't know, dance music. I like dance, dance music, music quite a lot. Um, I don't know. I like loads of music, really. And how, how do, what do you think to the state of sort of the uh, mainstream pop scene, i.e. the top 40? <laughs> no comment. You, you're not too impressed with it? Until you no get comment. In there, yeah. Is it a real buzz oh, when yeah. you uh, enter there, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I will always imagine the stars to sort of sit round the radio on a Sunday. Do you do that sort of thing? In a no, I've got better things to do on a Sunday. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you write a lot of songs yourself? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, how do you go about writing your songs? Do you roll tapes or play in your head? or? I just wait for the energy to flow through me. Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay. From the well, cosmic I'm consciousness, man. Yeah, well, see, I'm a, I'm a sort of songwriter of sorts myself, and I just roll the tape and play the guitar and make it up as I go along, you right, know, right, right. sort of get it in your head and that, you know. But thanks for your time, man. It's been a great pleasure. We'll see you around. I'll see you at the top, man, when I get up there. Now, I'd first like to say, by this guy here is a very big star, and can I have your autograph right here and right now? Sure. This is live on uh, Effort TV here to hit the bedrooms of all you teenagers. Thank you for your autograph there. So that's Alex. And uh, what do you think to the uh, world where you live? Oh, I think it's brilliant. And do you show where you go? Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think to this today? I think it's, it's cool. 
Yes. And uh, yeah. people often say, what are you on? Well, actually, I'm just on my own elixir of life, really. I, don't oh, oh, I, think, that's I think everybody's on that, really, aren't they? You know. OK, thank you for your time. That's all right. I'll see you around. Alex. Bye-bye, uh, Kirsty. So I'll see you when I make it famous, yeah? I will be there one day. I will be there. <laughs> yes. You think that's really wonderful? That is very big. I will be there one day, yeah. You didn't do the flower, did you? Did you get all them t-shirts? Did I get what? I got all three t-shirts last night. That's big crowded house, man. Hello. Where'd you get, did you get? Who give you that? Oh. I'm not an open speed fan, Well, that doesn't matter. It's a... Hard thing for me. Who's this come out here? Sharon Nelson. Sharon Nelson! Do you want to be interviewed? <laughs> Do you all, uh, always uh, disobey your own decisions? Yeah. Uh, do you stick to what you've uh, plotted to do in life? What are you trying to achieve in life? Basically to not do a lot, really. Not do a lot? You want to do very little? Yeah. Very little? Yeah. Not even the tiny smidgen inkling of uh, actually doing something? No. Nope. Just very little. OK, well, I think that's uh, a lot of England's into doing very little, but uh, if, uh, we don't really get there, we won't ever get there. OK, where's shut? Come on, we'll just go up there and... Excuse me, why could it have been uh, nine goodbyes and ten instead of uh, ten or whatever it was? Ten's my lucky number. T ten's your lucky number, yeah? What, what, what musically uh, influences oh, you? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Anything by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> Anything by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> 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 That's mine. It's mine. <laughs> it's okay, what else? Uh, um, what do you think to the current state of the music scene, uh, the top 40? <laughs> Interesting. It's interesting. Oh no, I'm not a twat actually. I'm a quite an interesting type of person. Thank you for your time there. Well, uh, I'll see you at the top too. Now it's often uh, it's often uh, sad when uh, things come to an end and uh, times come to an end. And how old are you? I'm 14. You're 14. And on your 14 years on the earth, uh, have you experienced ups and downs, or has it all been ups and all downs? Yeah, I've, I've experienced ups and downs. Yeah. Right. Okay then. And uh, hopes for the future. Well, um, I'd like to be a fashion designer. A fashion designer. Well, I'll, I'll remember you because you can design my clothes when I uh, become very famous. And can, can you say hi to Sarah and Helen for me, please? Hi to Sarah and Helen. Oh, that's my sister. Okay. My, my lovable sister. <laughs> okay. These are similar to Duran Duran. Uh, uh, are you into teeny bop follows? No. No, not into... T hi, girls. Would you say these are a kind of 90s Duran Duran? Um, no, not really. <laughs> not really. Do, do, would you say these are a 90s Duran Duran? <laughs> <laughs> yes. They are. Oh, someone here agrees. A 90s Duran Duran. Oh, the security guard. Would you say these are a 90s Duran Duran? Uh, yeah, most And what do you think's a teeny bop follow? Who? Huh? Teeny bop follow. I'm talking about all the girls we've got here screaming for the boys. That's teeny bop follow. Uh, you think that's a good thing? We should. Is it a healthy thing for the youth? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or scene to the left and scene to the right. Okay, then. Thank yeah. you for your time. Duran Duran. Yeah. You would say that. And do you remember the 1980s? Yes, I do. And what did you think of the 1980s? Not very good. Not very good. Do you prefer the 1990s? Yeah. About the 1970s. Do you remember them? No. Uh, I know it's a bit of a. What year were you born in then? 1979. 1979. Uh, 1979. What happened that year? Well, Blondie were in there, Pete. No, I don't remember. You don't remember Blondie? What should, do you remember 1981? What happened then? 1981. Oh, well, a few bands. The new romantic scene, really. No. Okay, thank you for your time. Hello down there. Are you sleeping quietly? Name's Lee. Hi, Lee. Are you crying in your sleep? Hello. I don't know. Uh, I'll, s I'll see you in the future, yeah, mate? Remember me. I'll be the idol of tomorrow. Hi there. Hello, how are you? Hi, uh, welcome to uh, Ian's Friends. Hello. Oh, Lord. You, Hello. You these are a 90s Duran Duran. I'd say they were crap. You'd say they were crap? Oh, OK, then. Live enough, not raw enough. Matt. Not live enough. What did you say? What did you say you got a blind date with Destiny today? Have I got a blind date with Destiny? Yes, I have got a blind date. I've got blind dates with everything today. So I've got a blind, got a blind date with passion, destiny, and, and feeling. And I think she came all the way from America, especially for you. Yeah, she came all the way from America, especially for me. With her inside, a still skin, and a brother attitude lot, who have lots of fun shows on top of the pops. Yeah. I? With their number inside there. A lovely lot of people there. That's what's uh, 
having the effect on today's youth, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, so it's got a hook, you see, that's what uh, gets a song. A hook with some distortion on the chorus and a uh, nice four chord wonder is the main riff. Lots of attitude, uh, feeling in there. Mm, yeah, right, should we, uh, uh, yeah, if you want, go on then, let's get on. Okay, so who are your musical influences then? Benny Hill. Benny Hill, anyone else? That's it. That's it, that's all you, uh, and uh, how do you go about writing songs? I just fall asleep, wake up, they're done. Yeah, do you uh, ever roll the tape and just uh, go for it? And play the we don't use tape. You don't use tape, you're not into the analog? Yeah, we are, just our like, music performers are, we don't record it. Yeah. Okay yeah. then, rock and roll. Can you sign <laughs> Rock and roll, man, it's definitely, it's definitely. Hello, Sorry. about what your musical influences are. Your major influence? Yeah. My mother. Your mother's your major influence. What music? And who actually, uh, what members of the band actually wrote the uh, song inside? Yeah, yeah is it If he's listening. We'll get there, we'll, we'll get there in the end. Yeah, what members of the band actually wrote the uh, inside song? Was that one? The member of the band that wrote it was uh, Peter Lawler, who plays guitar. Yeah, was that the guy we just got on? Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? Blonde-haired guy. Yeah. Did you write the lyrics at all? No, I wasn't involved in that song. Do you write Do you, do you write yourself? Yes. Do you write whole songs on your own? Yes, yes, I've written so a lot. Do we expect to see some... Uh, here, here. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Do we expect to see whole songs from you, yeah? Yes, certainly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, where, 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 what, what, what um, barriers are you hoping to break in the uh, world of rock? Anything, any uh, goals you've got trying to reach? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I suppose you just go out to uh, do what you can. You no know. festivals you want to play or anything? Oh, yeah, there'll be all that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's what it's all about for me. You know? Yeah, okay. So that's, uh, that's the whole thing. Oh, well, good luck with the album, then. Thanks very much, bro. It's not been nice meeting I you. Okay, Matt. Yeah, don't worry. Thanks a lot for the interview, man. I hope you go fast. Okay, this is the last. We're wrapping up uh, Effort TV, which we've been at the Radio One Road show, and we've seen some great famous people. And uh, but no one as famous as Rob here. Rob last night held the show together. He kept there at the back when Nick was there, and uh, he was generally there. And um, and it was a fun time. It was your sister's birthday, wasn't it? It was indeed. 16. She was 16. Yeah. Very sweet. She looks a lot older actually. She you know, does. We, I know. We yeah. were quite surprised. We had quite a laugh actually walking through West Hampstead. Did you? Well, some guys kept on saying what a good time I was going to have with her while I. <laughs> Oh, oh, generally, <laughs> oh, well, okay, so, uh... Did you oh, not say anymore? I did, not but not like, not, not... Has she got a boyfriend? No, she hasn't. Oh, all right, we'll send her around my house then. <laughs> See you later, Rob. Okay, end in secret. This is Effort TV. Anyone want to say bye on Effort TV? Okay, bye-bye, Effort TV. Okay, then, all right, then, this is Effort TV. Pretty girl, hard blokes, pretty girl, hard blokes. See you later. <laughs> okay, should we not? Should we opt for one of them dodgy seats?